So you have a new operating system for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing. And what version are we up to now? Well, we had Windows 7 and Windows 8 and then 8.1 and then Windows 10. What? What happened to Windows 9? We don't talk about Windows 9, sir. Why? Because. Fair enough. So this version is Windows 11. Oh, I see what you did there. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You turn Windows up to 11. Oh, nice Final Tap reference. So tell me about Windows 11. Well, sir, there's a bunch of new features and security improvements. Anything else? It's really shiny. That's a good point. So since there's all those new features our customers are going to want, the team wants to do an upgrade. Oh, a very cool idea. But we're not going to do that, I decided. Oh, dang it. Don't get me wrong. It's a great idea. But that would be way too much work. I mean, do you realize all the extra man hours it would take to test all those applications and then review the data and figure out what works and what doesn't and then how to fix it? It's just going to be way too hard to get all that done. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? You see, we have this new tool called Remo3. Remo3? Tell me about this thing. Well, sir, it's a solution that helps accelerate digital transformation with sophisticated and automated application testing and analysis. Oh, a very transformative solution. It is, sir. How does it work? So you sign up for the service and you'll get an email and then there's some different ways that you can set things up and there's kind of something for everybody. Buddy, then Remo3 will spin up VMs to do all of your app testing in a bunch of different ways automatically and save the results to an easy to use dashboard so you know what's going on. Wow, 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 wow. And the coolest thing is we can test all of our apps today on Windows 10 and then we can just push one button and have them all retested on Windows 11 automatically. All reducing complex skills and multiple man hours down to a single press of a button is tight. It is, sir. This is great. We're going to save a bunch of money. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, boy, I'm going to get a promotion out of this. Wait, what? Shouldn't I get the promotion for this? Oh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. So if I got all this straight, we're going to save the company a ton of money, but we still need our app developers and testers. So when Remo3 finds an issue, we have the right people with the right skills to help us resolve all that. You got it, sir. Well, great. I better start working on that promotion paperwork. And I'll contact Remo3 and get things set up. I think this is going to be really good for our relationship. So now that Manager Guy has approved our using Remo3, let's get it rolled out so you can start automating all of your application testing. And then I'll show you how we can move to Windows 11 with a single click of a button. And this all starts at Remo3.com. You can click the Contact Us button at the top, fill out the form, and then the folks from Remo3 will get in touch with you and figure out what kind of deployment solution you're looking for. And there's two basic types here. The first will use their Azure environment and resources. And this is a good generic testing way so that you know your apps will work in Windows 11, Azure Virtual Desktop, Multi-Session, or MSIX, and even App Attach. The second will deploy resources into your own Azure subscription, and that way you can use your own custom images and join your VMs to your own domain. And that way you get a deeper level of integration testing. Now, if you went down the first path, you'll get an email like this, and you can click the join link, fill out the form for a new user registration, and then sign in with those same credentials, and of course read and then agree to the license agreement, and there you are. Then you just have to upload your apps, get the testing done on Remo3 systems, check all of your reports, and then rinse and repeat. Now, if you want that deeper level of integration testing, they'll send you another link so you can download some files. And one of them will be this PowerShell file, and that will deploy the Remo3 resources into your subscription. And the second thing is a settings.json file. And you'll need to update that with all of your different Azure IDs. Then you just run the PowerShell script, and in about five minutes, you'll be ready to go. Now, you're deploying several resources here, but the important one is a Remo3 gateway. And this is not like a VPN gateway but this is a VM that is the brains behind what Remo3 is doing. And when you sign up for Remo3, they'll create a web host instance and database for you. And that'll keep your data isolated and protected. Through the PowerShell script in the gateway, this is going to link to your Azure subscription where you'll have a resource group, network, storage account, and the gateway VM itself. And then when you upload your applications, they'll be scanned for viruses and malware and then injected into your storage account. Now, the way the automated testing works is the gateway will create new virtual machines as task runners for each of those applications and do the testing on a clean environment. Once complete, the task runner VMs will be deleted and the results will be sent back into the Remo3 database 
so you can find all that in your dashboard. Now to check the status of the gateway before you start uploading your apps, you can change the browser URL there to slash agents. And once your gateway goes online, then you can start uploading your apps. And that all starts here on the onboarding page. So just click to get started. And now pay attention on this screen because the options that you select here will determine how your testing is done and what your environment looks like. And those different options are checking if your apps will work with ABD multi-session, modernizing your apps to MSIX and checking if AppAttach is good for your app or not. Then existing environments is for those kind of monthly servicing updates so that you're always sure that your images won't impact your applications. And then migrations could be from any other VDI solution into Azure Virtual Desktop. So I'll select the ABD option just to start here. And now we have to pick our current operating system. That's so Remo3 knows what you have right now. And then the next screen, we select the operating system you want to test on. And I'll show you how to add your custom images in just a minute. Now here's where you can upload some apps. And this can be from any kind of app source, like an MSI, MSIX, AppV, Executable, etc. There's only two basic requirements here. The app needs to be zipped and the apps must be configured to do a silent install. So if you have something like an EXE that doesn't have any command switches to do this, you can still use this process by creating a script that will run unattended. So click upload and drop in your zipped apps and you can upload more than one here at a time and there's ways to upload more later on that I'll show you in a minute. When you're done with all that, click okay. And now you're brought into the Remo3 dashboard. Now some applications actually have multiple executables and files in them. So inside that zip file, Remo3 won't always know which is the right file to execute. So we can tell it. So on the top left, go to app packages and select manual. Now you should fill out all the details over here on the left first. And after that, you can upload your zip. Now the install command does need to be silent so the automation can do its thing. And the app that I'm using here, Firmar, which is a GPU stress test application, can do that natively. So I can just add the silent switch. Otherwise, you could just add a script into the zip file and then tell Remo3 to call that. Now here's a pro tip. If the app you're using does not have a discrete uninstall command, in the uninstall line here, just put cmd.exe space forward slash C. And that'll open the command prompt window and then close it right away and that way you don't get an error. You can also add tags at the bottom here to help you stay organized. When you're done with all of that, click save and then drop your zip on the right. And this will go a little bit quicker than it did on the other screen because you've already given it all the discovery information. It doesn't have to figure it out itself. Now let's say you wanna add custom images for Azure Virtual Desktop. You'll obviously wanna test your apps on that custom image and here's how you do it. Go ahead and grab the resource ID for that then back in your Remo3 dashboard, go ahead and click Advanced on the side and select Custom Image. Click the plus on the top right and then give your image a name and paste in your resource ID. And then you want to select what version of Windows it is so Remo3 knows what's going on. And then you can switch to that image version by going back to the onboarding experience. And if you're doing this as your monthly imaging servicing, you might want to check the Manage Existing Environment or Migration Stability and then click Next. Select your old version of Windows and your new version as your custom image. And Remo3 is not wasting any time here. Those apps that you uploaded, they get scanned, pushed out to your storage account right away. And then the gateway is now spinning up our first task runner to do that automated testing. Another thing that usually goes along with that deeper integration testing is joining your own domain and having your own policies. And to make this work, there are a few steps, but it is easy, I promise. The first thing you need to do is update the DNS settings on the virtual network where your gateway VM is located. And that way you can point those systems at your domain controller. Then if you need to, you can set up virtual network peering or a hybrid connection back to your on-prem network, depends on where your domain controller lives. With the Azure side out of the way, you can log into the gateway VM and then join the domain as you normally would. By the way, if you get an error here that you can't find your domain controller, check your DNS settings on the gateway. They probably don't show the custom DNS that you just entered into your virtual network. The simplest way to fix this is just reboot the VM and that way it'll pull all the latest settings. And now you can go back and join the domain as normal. Now, stop right here. Before you do the reboot and finish joining the domain, there is one thing we have to set up and that is the Windows Auto Login. 
This is a feature that will log in a local or domain user automatically when the VM reboots. And this is required for the Remo3 gateway to do its thing. So you need to open the registry and go to HKEY Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, Current Version, Win Login. And there's four different registry keys here that we need. Default User, Default Password, Default Domain, and Auto Admin Login, which should equal one. Now open the Windows Task Scheduler, and at the top you should see a task to start the gateway. Open that up, and we need to update the user that that process runs as and make it our Remo3 service account. Then go ahead and click Save. Once you're done with all that, reboot the gateway. Now because installing apps generally requires local admin permissions, you need to grant this Remo3 admin service account user local admin rights on the task runners. So not only will he join the VMs to the domain, but he will also be granted local admin rights to run all the Remo3 automated testing. And I find that the best way to do this is with group policy. Now I've created a new GPO and applied it to the Remo3 OU, and that's where all of my VMs will be located. This way the Remo3 service account will only have admin rights over the task runners and not all the VMs in my domain. So you edit the policy, and then you go to the Computer Configuration, Preferences, Control Panel Settings, Local Users and Groups. And here you want to add a local group, then select the built-in group as administrators, and at the bottom click Add, and I've already created a group for this in my domain called Remo3-LocalAdmins. Add that and then click OK, and your policy should look something like this. A few more steps here and we're done joining the domain. Over in the Remo3 dashboard, go to Advanced and then go to the Task Runner Config. And on the top right, you want to select Domain Suffix and then type in your domain name here and click Save. So by default, the Task Runner VMs will be created in the computer's container just like any other computer object. But I'll bet you want to know how we can control that to the specific OU that we just added our policy to. For now, you're going to need to pre-stage the Active Directory computer objects, which begs the obvious question, how do you know what the VMs should be called? And that's an easy one. And here we have the names of all of the VMs that will be created for the different kinds of tests that will be run. Just copy all these names and create the AD computer objects where you want them to be pre-staged and you are done. Now that we have Remo3 configured, let's look at the application side of things. So here's the list of apps I currently have installed. And we have several sections here for the types of tests that were run. So let's click on Putty and you can see some basic information about your app. And all of this was discovered because Putty here was an MSI file. Now, if you scroll down to the package discovery section, we can see that there are multiple executables here. So let's take one step back. So let's click on AVD here. Over on the left, we have the sequence overview and you can click on each line item to see all of the different information for each step of that process. And at the top, you can see the console section or a video of what happened or outputs, which would be screenshots and then also performance data. So if I was to click another line over there, then that data would be different. Now we did have a failure over on PuttyGen in our smoke test. And this app lets you generate keys based on moving your mouse around, which is something that Remo3 is just not gonna do. So let's exclude that from our testing. Go back to the main page of the apps and click on the name of your application. And then at the top here, go ahead and click the edit button. Scroll down to the package delivery section and uncheck the boxes for those components that you want to exclude. Then scroll back up and click save. Now this is automatically gonna kick off another round of testing and re-baseline your app. So you'll have to check back later to see if you have any other issues. Now another app here that I have is Furmark and that has a different issue. So when we click onto that error and look at the top at the outputs, we see that there is a download button that's popping up asking it to download a new version of Firmark. And the problem here isn't really that it's asking to download, but there are two different buttons. And we didn't tell Remo3 which was the right thing to do, so it just stops the test and gives us an error. So the proper way to fix this would be to update the install command so it doesn't check for updates. And now for the moment you have all been waiting for, we're going to retest all of our apps again for Windows 11 so that you can have confidence moving to your new OS quickly. And this is surprisingly simple. See that little swirly button over there? Go ahead and click that and that'll bring you back to the onboarding experience. 
Just like before, select the type of test that you want to do. Select your current OS, which at this point would probably be your custom OS, and then click Next and select Windows 11. Click Next, and then you can go back to the dashboard because all of your tests are already kicked off and you'll have your results back in your dashboard in a few minutes. Now we barely scratched the surface here in what Remo 3 can do for you, but you can try it out for yourself using that link in the resource section under the video. Now we're not quite done. I wanna give a special shout out to Ryan George and his new pitch meeting channel as the inspiration for this video's intro. Go and subscribe over there and let them know that we sent you. And you can also click over here if you wanna see the latest Azure Academy video so that you can master the cloud. Happy learning.